Hello everyone, uh, I'm Suraj Adhikari. I'm a graduate research assistant at College of Public Health, Department of Environmental, uh, Agricultural and Occupational Health and Safety. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a project called Field AR15. Uh, it is an ongoing project uh, which is aimed to improve health and safety of cattle field AR workers. Uh, I'll start my presentation with the purpose of our study. Uh, in the US, uh, there are close to 1 million farms that raises cattle and calves with an estimated number of 94 million head. As most of us know, agriculture industry has highest fatal injury rate and one of the highest uh, fatal injury count. And within agriculture, uh, animal production including cattle feed or subsector is even more hazardous to work at. Uh, you can see those uh, uh, line in the graph here uh, the injury rate the fatal injury rate in the animal production sector is higher than the uh, agriculture similarly uh, in the non if you see non fatal injury rate the animal production subsector has higher uh, non fatal injury rate than the total agriculture sector uh, although this sector is very hazardous to work at there are limited uh, resources uh, that has focused on addressing safety issue and the central state center for agriculture safety and health uh, has several uh, projects addressing the safety and health of livestock workers and feed at 15 is one of them uh, uh, with the objective to develop and implement a comprehensive uh, feed at safety and health training program and evaluate its efficacy uh, in this slide uh, i'm going to talk about how this project started and uh, what are we doing to meet the objective uh, initially in 2015, a field worker safety roundtable was conducted uh, through a sector-wide collaboration. Uh, it pointed out the challenges of current safety efforts at cattle field yards and recommended uh, to develop effective and measurable method of intervention, education and, uh, and outreach program. Uh, based on this uh, comprehensive uh, bilingual uh, field yard safety and health training program including 15 major safety topics have been developed and where uh, participating field yards, uh, uh, mostly from the central state, uh, they provide the training to their employees. Uh, to support the development of the curriculum, uh, the research team conducted a review of the literature and available sources related to counts, rates, uh, and different direct and indirect cost, and severity of injury and illness. The worker compensation sources will be used uh, that provides data for direct cost, example paid uh, benefits and medical expenses and indirect cost estimation, uh, which will help to evaluate the project applicability to the cattle feeding industry. And as of today, 80% uh, of uh, the modules have been completed. Uh, the participating feeders have already started delivering the curriculum to their teams. Uh, there are eight there are nine field ads, uh, which are participating in the training program and they are mostly from Nebraska, South Dakota, Colorado, Idaho and Wyoming. Uh, fillers are being actively recruited in the program. Uh, from the participating fillers, the total number of workers getting trained are 1400, uh, which are in the range of uh, 7 to 850 depending on the size of the farm. Uh, and while the uh, field lot capacity ranges from 6000 to 390,000 cattle head. Uh, here the, you can see the different 15, um, 15 different uh, food ad uh, safety topics uh, on which the, uh, the farm they are providing training to their employee. Uh, the team is getting a uh, uh, very uh, positive feedback from the trainers and the participating food ads till now. In this slide, I'm going to talk about the applicability of uh, our resource to the field and then the sector. Um, annual production subsector is uh, including cattle field is in high need to of innovative and sustainable uh, safety measure to limit the high rate uh, and count of injuries and illness. Uh, field at 15 is a first of its kind of project developing uh, safety training modules and evaluating the impact of training. Uh, this data-driven project will uh, create an evidence-based program model which can be widely implemented in the cattle feeding industry and such project will definitely help to raise uh, current safety and knowledge uh, of injury and prevention to the employee and employers. This is the end of my presentation. Uh, at the end, I would like to thank Dr. Aaron Yoder, who is my advisor and PI in the project, uh, similarly Dr. Athena Ramos, Dr. Vistra and other team members. And uh, if you have any question, uh, we have a contract here. Uh, please feel free to contact us. Thank you so much.